me. Oh, let's get you a little bit closer. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Mm. Come on in. Oh, 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 oh. There you are. Much, much better. I think you've been the best thing I've caught all day because I've been here fishing all morning and I've caught nothing. Hey, did you know that in the Bible, Jesus went fishing with some of his friends? Yes, that's right. Jesus went fishing with some of his friends and it was a pretty wild story. But before we get to the story, we're gonna get our hearts ready for what God wants to teach us today, okay? So we're gonna start with, hmm, worship. Yes, let's do worship. Oh, what's that? The Creed, that's right. We can't go on without doing the Shoreline City Creed. Do you want to help bring it in? Okay, everybody, put your hands out. Oh, okay, pretend you're holding a fishing pole. You can see it and then throw it all the way back and then cast it into the water. Oh, there it is. And then bring it in. Oh, there it is. The words are on the screen. Okay, follow me. I am loved by God. I cannot earn it and I cannot lose it. In Christ, I am forgiven and made brand new. I live with passion and purpose. I'm empowered by the Spirit to be the church in the world and to live for the glory of God. Yes! That's awesome. Now let's worship.
Welcome to the Cupcake Food Truck. I'm Aisha. So good to see you today. Check out these amazing cupcakes. Ta-da! <laughs> They're my golden goldfish cupcakes. Because I have the most amazing story about the most amazing out of this world person. Can you guess who it is? Jesus! <laughs> That's right. It's Jesus. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible begins with these fishermen. They have been fishing all night and now they are cleaning their nets. I wonder how many fish they caught. Let's look in their boats. Do you see any fish? No. These guys had tried all night to catch fish, but came back without any fish. So sad. Just then, Jesus came to the shore and a crowd of people followed him. They wanted to hear Jesus' amazing teachings about how God loves them. But there were so many people and they kept getting closer and closer and closer. Jesus had no room to stand on the sand. So he asked Peter, the fisherman, if he could use his boat. Tell me, if Jesus asked you if he could come on your boat, would you say yes or no? Yes, me too. <laughs> so Jesus got in the boat and he taught the people about God. When he was finished teaching, he said to Peter, let's go fishing. Peter told Jesus that he had tried all night to catch fish and didn't catch a single one. But since Jesus asked, Peter agreed to try one more time. They let down their nets and waited. Tell me if you see any fish. <gasps> there's a fish. Wow. <gasps> there's another one. What's that? Even more fish. So many fish. Wow. <laughs> Look, there's so many fish, the nets are breaking. They even had to get another boat. Soon, they had two full boats of fish. Everyone was amazed. No one but the out of this world amazing Jesus could do that. Jesus is amazing and can do anything because Jesus is God's son. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. Whoa, that lesson was a great catch. You get it? A great catch? Because they were fishing? <laughs> you know what our next catch is? Table talk time, that's right. Okay, I've got a question for you and I wonder if you remember. After the men were fishing all night, how many did they catch? Zero, zero, zilch, nada. They didn't catch a single fish. Question number two. So many people came to see Jesus teach at the water that he actually had to move. Where did he go? And what did he teach about? <gasps> Jesus went to a boat. That's right. Jesus went on a boat to teach about God. Last question. After Jesus taught everyone about God, he told Peter to go fishing again. Was Peter able to catch any fish? Yes, they caught so many fish because with Jesus, anything is possible. Hey, I actually think that would be something awesome to remember this week. It's our memory statement. With Jesus, anything is possible. So be sure to say that in the morning or at nighttime when you're going to school or before dinner to remind yourself that sometimes you go fishing Man, you don't catch any fish. But if you pray really hard and believe in your heart, we know that with Jesus, anything is possible. Hey, Shoreline City Littles, I love you so much. Bye.
since I didn't catch any fish before, and now I know the story, I'm gonna go see if with Jesus, I can go catch some more fish. Bye!